If you're watching this video, you most likely have a LEGO Mindstorms NXT with a broken or partially broken LCD screen. Today I'm going to show you a workaround of this issue without ever touching a screwdriver. So if your screen looks like this, be sure to stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Battery Powered Breaks. Today's topic is the LEGO Mindstorms NXT, more specifically the LCD screen, which is a very common point of failure. If you look to purchase one online, be sure to get one with a working LCD right out of the gate. They are often sold as easily repairable, but take this advice with a grain of salt. Guides online will have you fiddling with the LCD's ribbon cable or reflowing the solder of the surface mount capacitors. I have experience with component level repair of electronics and I've never had any success using these or my own methods. But I did discover a workaround of this issue which works perfectly for me. You may be familiar with the software BrickX Command Center. It is an excellent tool for programming any LEGO Mindstorms unit all the way back to the RCX using text-based programming languages. The software also comes with many diagnostic features built in, including screen mirroring for the NXT. Simply open the Tools drop-down menu and select NXT Screen. Right-clicking the image of the NXT will bring up several options. First, let's set the refresh rate to the fastest available, which is 50 milliseconds. This can be done with this keyboard shortcut, Control-1. Now, let's enable Polling, which can also be done with the keyboard shortcut, Control-P. And there you have it. Now you can use your LEGO Mindstorms NXT just like you were holding it in your hand. Although BrickX Command Center does support Bluetooth communication, you will need a custom firmware. So, in my case, I just use USB cables to easily connect them. And it gets even better. On the BrickX CC SourceForge page, you can download NXT Screen as a standalone executable file, which enables you to run multiple instances and connect to multiple NXTs at a time. While I'll admit this isn't a solution for everyone, it works perfectly for me. I often use multiple NXTs on stationary projects and I can control them all from one place. I've included links in the description to both Brick XCC and the NXT screen utility. So if your NXT screen is starting to fail, don't throw it away. Put it to good use controlling your LEGO Mindstorms creations. That's it for this episode. We will see you next time.